If you think Thin Mints are too spicy, missionary style is the only way, and Al Gore was just really misunderstood, buckle up because, man, I've got some stuff to talk to you about. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Kevin with Custom Night Vision, and today we're going to talk about another new night vision housing. It's not really new. It's different. They changed it. They made it better because the first one kind of sucked. I don't know if we ever did a video on this because my memory's terrible, concussions and all that, but I think I recall talking about this thing. Uh, this is the AB Night Vision RNVG VG. VG stands for variable gain. So this was AB Night Vision's first, uh, I don't want to say attempt, that sounds rude, but product offering that featured manual gain functionality. And essentially, you had a little switch over here for on off. Um, I don't think it had an IR illuminator. Oh yeah, there's one right there. So you got an IR illuminator. And then over here was the gain knob and it had these detent positions for different levels of gain, but there was only, we'll count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six positions, which really doesn't provide a level of flexibility that people are used to um, with like a 31 Alpha or any of the devices that have a infinite adjustability on the gain control. You know, they took some feedback from everybody, us included, with L3 tubes in here. I mean, the manual gain really wasn't valuable. It wasn't usable. Uh, it was either all the way up or every setting passed all the way up was just too dim. It, it wasn't... It didn't work for us. So we told them like, you know, hey, we don't really want to carry this or can you fix it? Can you change some things? I don't know if Ben heard anything. I don't remember talking to him about it, but lo and behold, this turns up and it's different. So as you can tell, it looks a little bit different. Um, there is still an IR illuminator. It's bigger and it's offset over here, kind of like the uh, original RNVG. You've got the power knob right here, and it's got two positions just like a PVS-14. Well, three if you count off, off, on, pull it out and turn it, then you activated the IR illuminator. Over here, you have the gain knob, similar to where it was located before, but now it has a rheostat or potentiometer, essentially infinite adjustability. It's basically a nice smooth dial that turns right and left. So that's really cool. This one also has a Lima port for remote power via a battery pack. I don't think this one had that. It does not. So, you know, if you really just can't do articulating night vision, you know, this is too risky or, you know, communist or something like that. Um, and you really, you know, stuck on this fixed bridge, maybe you were an aviator and just want something reminiscent of your Anva sixes, man, this, this may be the unit for you. Just like all the AB night vision housings, it's pretty much indestructible. Um, I think it's 7075 machined aluminum, everything. We have very few issues with any of the uh, AB night vision stuff, which unfortunately is kind of unique these days in this industry. Um, every one of the big night vision manufacturers has had some hiccup in production or development of new products with a myriad of different issues, not on a large scale, but um, for the most part, AB Night Vision's product offerings have been the most consistent in quality and functionality. We don't get these back. We don't get calls asking about why somebody's night vision is doing weird things. They just work or they don't. And 99.9% .9 of the time they work. So we like these things. They're priced very competitively. They offer a lot of value for the money, and now they've got a new product in their lineup. Um, I'm kind of excited to see if they take this a step further and do an articulating bino with gain control now that they've kind of mastered it uh, on the fixed bridge platform. But yeah, it's pretty exciting. If you have any questions about this, you can put them down in the comments or contact us, contact us on any of our social, social medias. Yeah. 
If you have any questions about this product, you can contact us via any of our social medias. You can put it down in the comments. Uh, you can call us. The shop number's listed on our website. And unfortunately, the phone rings 24 seven. So yeah, give us a call. Um, if you're new here or you're not, and you're not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. It really gives us the ability to go out and do more cool stuff or bring your reviews on new products that are becoming available. Like the video, share it, send it to your mom. I don't care. Just help get it out there. We really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.